Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my channel today. Um, so today I'm going to share with you my January wrap up and my February TBR. Um, so I had a really good start to 2019 and I got a lot of books read. Um, so I'm going to share them with you today. It's very gloomy outside. If the lighting is weird, I'm just using light from the window um, and it's very dark and rainy. So I'm just chilling on this Sunday, my sweatshirt, just being all cozy and comfy. But I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. So let's get started. So the first book I finished in January is Turn Around Bright Eyes, The Rituals of Love and Karaoke by Rob Sheffield. And um, I picked this book up in December, but I did officially finish it in January. Um, this is actually a memoir slash autobiography by Rob Sheffield. He is also a writer for Rolling Stone magazine. Um, and the coolest thing about this book is that it just really focused on a bunch of different styles of music and about his love for karaoke and kind of how that was woven into his life for a few years. Check this out if you want to. This is the first book I finished in January. Okay, the second book I finished in January was Annalise Rising by Brenda Drake. Um, I was sent an advanced e-copy of this book. Um, for a honest review by Entangled Teen Publishing and they also just sent me the finished copy a couple of weeks ago and I love this cover it is so pretty um, but so this book is about Annalise who is a teenage girl um, and one day she um, tries to help a man on the street an old man who seems to be having trouble and he hands her his briefcase and he's like you know here you need this take this and he dies um, so pretty tragic beginning and she goes through the briefcase and she finds a list of names in there and she's on the list. So then it's like this non-stop action-packed story about her figuring out what the list has to do with her and her family history and also in this uh, book there are gods and goddesses from all around the world that are actually real people and living beings in this world and it was just awesome. If you have seen or read like National Treasure or The Da Vinci Code, very much like this book, kind of scavenger hunt. And she also um, goes on the journey with this guy that she meets and there's a little bit of romance in there, which is always good. Um, but I really liked this book. I don't know if there's gonna be a continuation of the series. I can't remember. I hope there is because I really liked this one, so. That was the second book. Um, the third book that I finished in January was Talking As Fast As I Can from Gilmore Girls to Gilmore Girls by Lauren Graham. I listened to this audiobook um, while I was at work and I am a huge Gilmore Girls fan myself and Lauren Graham actually narrates this book um, which she wrote and she narrates the audiobook and it was very good. Very cool to see her tell stories of like behind the scenes from the show from filming the original series and then her stint like through the the series called Parenthood which I've never watched and then also the re Netflix reboot of Gilmore Girls a few years later so it was really cool to see her tell stories about all the different cast members and everything um, and I really loved her narration obviously so um, the next one I listened to was Wedding Night by Sophie Kinsella um, every time I listen to a so or read a Sophie Kinsella book, I'm always reminded of how light and funny and like entertaining and hilarious they are. I love that they're all narrated with British accents. Love it. Um, but this one is a story of Lottie, um, who is really certain that her boyfriend's going to propose to her, and then it turns out that he doesn't. So she, on a whim, meets up with her original love from her teenage years. They decide to get married um, after like one day. And then Lottie's sister, Fliss, will do almost anything to stop her sister from making this like huge mistake. Um, it's so funny. So funny. I love the romance. They each have a romance that both of the sisters do. Um, so it is just a very good book. If you're looking for a light and entertaining romantic comedy, perfect for Valentine's Day. I would recommend that one. All right, the fifth book I finished in January was The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp. Um, so you know how most people and most readers say that the movie is not ever as good as the book. I think this is an exception to that rule. I have owned the movie The Spectacular Now for three or four years now. I've seen it multiple times. 
It has, um, if you can see from the cover here, Miles Teller and Shailene Woodley from the Divergent series in it. Love those actors. Um, it also has Coach from Friday Night Lights in it. So it has a great cast. The movie, I love the movie. Classic, coming of age, teenage love story. Love it. Reading the book, I did not like it. I could not get into Sutter Keekly narrate like because it's told from his point of view. He's really a jerk in this book and I just couldn't really get past that. And he comes out, comes off way worse than he does in the movie. Um, also the movie has, um, the book ends on kind of like a sour note in my opinion. The movie has an extra scene at the end that is not in the book that kind of ties it up and kind of resolves everything a little better, I think. Um, so I only gave this book, I think, three stars. Um, so I would honestly recommend the movie over the book. And the next book I finished was Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I downloaded this audiobook to listen to because I've heard a whole lot about this series. It's a young adult series, kind of um, sci-fi. It's set in the future um, in New Beijing and it's a retelling of Cinderella and Cinder, her name in this story, is a cyborg which means she's part human, part robot. And there are like people who live on the moon and there are like android robots in all the households like help people do stuff and it's very different. So it took me a while to get into the story but once I got the hang of everything, you know, because it's like I was expecting, oh, Cinderella retelling, cool. But it's very futuristic and very different. Um, so once I got into that, I actually really liked it. And I am about to start the second book, but that's on my February TBR. So keep watching for that. Um, and the next audiobook I listened to, probably, honestly, my most favorite book of the month of January. And that was Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Um, I saw Jessica talking about this over at Peace Love Books. I will link her channel below if you guys want to check it out. She's a booktuber. She has like tons of followers. She's a blogger. She's already like super successful and I love her channel. Um, but I saw that she was reading the series and she was speaking very highly of it. So I decided to listen to the audiobook and the writing is incredible. The narration was incredible. So this is the story of Juliet who is a girl and she was born with the ability if she touches people she will kill them um and this is like in a, a you know a dystopian futuristic society again and okay guys so i thought my camera battery was about to die so um if this looks a little different sorry long story short um shatter me loved it five stars you should read the series um, and so the next book I finished in January was Destroy Me by Tahara Mafi, which is a novella set, um, I think right after the first book ends. And this is from the point of view of Warner, who is set up to be kind of like the villain in the first book. Um, at first when I was reading this, I only gave it four stars because I was like, why are we getting his point of view? Like, no one likes him. I don't really care. Now that I, I've already finished the second book in the series and it makes a lot more sense, um, but yeah, definitely read the novellas if you're reading the series. Be sure to read those if you can, like, wherever they appropriately go in the series. Lastly, in January, um, I did read 100 Pages of Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. Um, this is the third book in the Outlander series. It is over 1,000 pages long. So my plan is to read at least 100 pages of this every month so I can finish it before the end of the year because... This is not a book for me that I can just sit down and power through and keep reading and reading and reading. I really like to read it more in chunks, so that's why I decided to break it up. Okay guys, sorry this looks different. My battery really did die, so it's been about an hour. I've been charging the other battery, so sorry, but let's get back into it. So now I'm going to share with you the books that I plan to read in February. It's currently February 10th. I'm getting a little bit of a late start on this video. I have finished one full book. Um, so let's just get into my TBR. The first book that I have already finished is Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. Um, that is the second novel in the Shatter Me series. I didn't really like this book as much, but the last few chapters are super intense. I still don't know whether I'm on Team Adam or Team Warner. I'm very confused about the whole thing but I am loving it. I think I, it seems like it's gonna be Team Warner towards the end. I don't know. 
Um, but there was a scene that was very intense between the two of them, but I'm still confused. I'm like, somebody just pick a side and just go with it. So, um, and then I'll segue into a book that I'm currently reading, Fracture Me by Tahira Mafi, and that is the second novella in the series. So there was like the first book, a novella, second book, and now I'm reading the second novella, and this takes place at in the very last chapters of Unravel Me, but this is told by Adam's perspective. Um, so that's just like a little ebook I'm reading. I think it's like 60 something pages, so I'll get through it very quickly. Um, so that's what I'm currently reading. I'm also currently reading this monstrosity, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is the fifth book in the Harry Potter series. I started reading this in January. It is over 800 pages. Um, I'm probably about two-thirds of the way through so I hope to finish this in February um, at the beginning I didn't really like it as much because I thought that Harry was very whiny about stuff and but it's quickly gotten very very good I don't remember a lot about this movie because I remember this being my least favorite of all the movies so I can't really remember most of the stuff that happened, but as I'm reading, I'm like remembering little scenes from the movie. But I still feel like there's a lot happening in this book that's not in the movie. Um, but needless to say, I am loving it. I'm hoping to finish the Harry Potter series pretty soon so we can go to Harry Potter World this year. I want to go. It's going to happen. Um, so currently reading this. Um, another book that I plan to read, and I've all already got it, downloaded it's an audiobook is Scarlet um, by Marissa Meyer that is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles series um, I don't know much about it I know it's a continuation from Cinder but I think this one is kind of centered around a different girl um, I think it's Little Red Riding Hood retelling I could be wrong I think that's what it is and I think like this character will character will end up in the same storyline as Cinder and Prince Emperor Kai and all of them um, so I am excited to continue that series. That'll be my next audiobook. Again, I'm going to read another 100 pages of Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. Third book in the Atlander series. Sticking with my schedule, 100 pages per month. So that will be another thing that I read in February. Um, the next book that I hope to read, I know it's already February 10th and it's a short month. But I really, really hope I can is Lover Unbound by J.R. Ward. This is the fifth book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. And it has been way too long since I've read one of the books. I think I read the last book in maybe November, October or November. So it's been way too long for me to be out of that world. Um, I need to be more consistent with it because there are so many books already in this series. Because I think they st she started writing them in the early 2000s. So, I mean... You know we're going on 20 years here that these have been out so there's so many books and there are new ones coming out this year um so i really hope to continue on the fifth book is vicious's story um and he was very prevalent in the fourth book which was butch's book because butch and vicious are like best friends um little something weird going on there too but this is vicious's story so i'm excited to see things from his point of view and kind of get his history so that's everything i have planned um one thing that i thought would be fun to start doing in these videos is to actually pick out of my tbr basket um which is this little basket here i've got all the books on my shelf that and on my kindle that i've never read before in this basket and i thought it'd be fun to start picking one out per month um to read and hopefully I get to it this month if not there might be some carryover because I have a very ambitious TBR for this month but we'll see so let's pick one of these out and then we'll see what it is Picking. okay I've got one here oh it is a Christmas story honestly gonna say that I'm not very excited about this the book that I picked out is the Christmas secret by Jenny Watt um, I'm pretty certain that this is on my Kindle, so that's a good sign at least because I tend to read things a little bit faster when they're on my Kindle. So this is my TBR pick for February. Um, if you guys want to, I have a coordinating blog post um, for this video over at kindlykatie.com. Um, I will 
give more descriptions and kind of smaller reviews in my blog post and also all the star ratings for the books that I've read. So if you want to check out my blog, it'll be on there. And also you can follow me on Goodreads. I track all of my books on there. I'm trying to rate them all as I read them. So be sure to go check out my blog, subscribe to it. You will get an email every time I post something. Um, also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys like my videos. All it'll do will just be notifying you whenever I post a video. One and thing that I would like for you guys to do is just comment below. Tell me what you're currently reading. Um, I'm always looking for recommendations. Always love to hear what other people are reading. So share with me in the comments below. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Again, subscribe. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.